Hi, this is Dr. Hui Xu from Inner Art of Music. Today, I will do a review for a young piano learner, Anna. If you wish to contact me to review your annual piano progress, make sure to watch this free annual review video to see the details in the description. Anna is under age 13, so her mom sent me an email and kindly requested my review for her daughter's piano progress. In the email, she included Anna's piano learning background, studied piano with private tutor for about five years, and she practices 20 to 30 minutes every day. And for her achievement, she passes the National Guild exam, level A, and she also won a second place at the United States International Duo Piano Competition. Pretty good. She also included her performance video, YouTube link is here and a sheet of music. Let's see if her music is public domain or not, since I only review public domain music. Her first piece is Sonata in G major. I think that's Beethoven's Sonata, Opus 49, number two. And her second piece is Chopin's Prelude, Opus 28, number 23. Both are under public domain. Thank you. Now let's watch Anna's playing for scale and arpeggio. <laughs> Very good. Her hand position and finger movement is perfect. And she has nice curved finger position. And see how she lifts up her fingers when playing the scale. It's very good hand independence. The only suggestion I want to give is that she can increase her speed faster. I didn't think it reaches to 120 yet. Let's double check the metronome. That's 120, and let's listen to her again. It's very close, but it's not reached 120 yet. So I think she can play faster than 120 because she has the ability, okay? How to play faster tempo for skill? I'm going to try to increase the speed to maybe 130. Try to play a small group of notes. Play one octave first with 130. And when you feel comfortable, try to improve to two octaves. And then three octaves. And then go on and on, add more octaves. I think that's very decent practice method for speed practice. Now let's listen to her arpeggio. I think it's decent tempo. Everything looks fine. Let's double check. It's 90 BPM. Very good. So I do suggest Anna watch my skill and arpeggio tutorial series on my YouTube channel. So this is the playlist which includes not only parallel motion skill but also the contra motion skill and arpeggios in variations. For example, what you played is just a parallel motion up and down. Okay, in my tutorial, it's also included like a contra motion. You split your hand apart. For the arpeggio, it includes the dominant seventh and the diminished seventh in arpeggios. You're welcome to explore in my YouTube channel skill arpeggio tutorial series. Now let's watch her two pieces. First one is Beethoven's Sonata in G major, opus 49, number two. Okay, the beginning section, it's pretty good, okay? 
One small suggestion is about the tempo. Your tempo is a little bit rushed, so I suggest you use a metronome to control your tempo. Let's go on the next section. Okay, for example, on major 24, 25, la so fa fa mi 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 re, la so fa fa mi 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 re, the la so fa, the A is the upbeat note, okay? So you, you put accent there. So why play with accent on the upbeat A? So if you play the upbeat note with accent, the rhythm will be confused. You play like that. It sounds a little bit harsh. If you can reduce the accent, play just naturally as a normal upbeat, like that. It will be more natural. So don't play accent on the upbeat unless the music is written accent on the upbeat. For here, be careful the articulation. Same as uh, measure 32, 33, 34 here. So be careful, just listen carefully. No accent. Let's go on, continue listening. <laughs> It's measure 53. The right hand here, the rhythm is not very clear. You play this F. This F natural is an upbeat, but it sounds like a downbeat. You play like that. But it's written, it's a piano under that upbeat F. One, two, one. Like that. Did you hear the difference? I hope you can hear the difference. On measure 65, 66 here. The music doesn't write anything retard or slow down. So I hope you can follow the direction. Okay, don't slow down anywhere. I hope you can just go straight forward. <laughs> I feel we need to follow Beethoven's idea without the retard there. Just to go forward. That will be better. But let's go on, keep listening. At the end, these two chords, it doesn't write down retard or slow down. And you did slow down the tempo as well. I hope you still just play straight forward. See which one you like better. This is your way. And this is my way. I feel we should go straight forward. The second one is more follow Beethoven's idea. Okay, let's listen to the second movement. Measure dun da da dun da da da. Measure nine, 
and then measure 10, 11 there. The dotted eighth note. I feel a little bit too harsh. So you play like that. It sounds a little bit too harsh. Don't touch the key too fast. It sounds uh, a little bit too mechanical. So for the repeated note, one, two, three, the third note, come a little bit later instead of You come too quick and I make it's easy to make a very mechanical sound. Uh, if you can come a little bit later, hold back a little bit so the sound may be more gentle. Still have the tension but not very harsh, still musical. Here, I feel you have some rhythmic problem. On measure 115, I feel you kind of slowed down. You slowed down at the end of the measure. Like that. But the correct way is... So double check the rhythm over there, all right? Generally, Anna, you did a good job for memorizing the entire Beethoven sonata and then you play the Beethoven beautifully. Just to make sure to read the music notation carefully. Do the things it's written, like the dynamic contrast. Don't do the things that is not written, like the music doesn't notate the retard, but you put a retard in many places. That you need to pay attention. Okay, let's listen to her next piece, Chopin Prelude, Opus 28, number 23. Very nice flow. We can hear the melodies on the left hand, ornamented with the trills and supported by the right hand running 16th notes. On measure 4, left hand, here has the B flat and G sharp notes. Those notes need to be presented better. You kind of lost it. So, make sure you play those two notes clearly. The accidental notes make the color change. Continue. On measure Eight, the left hand arpeggio here, I hope you can play more gently. It should sound like a feather flow in the air. So you did. You kind of hold on that B flat note and then it sounds a little bit too much. It's a little bit heavy. So if you can play, let it go, let it go up to the air. Okay, so it will sound more lighter and then playful. Let's go on. Down. I know here has an accent on the last note. Even with an accent, you need to let it go up to the air. It's something like if you can have a balloon tie on your wrist. It seems like the balloon take your wrist up and take the note up and take the sound up. Instead of, instead of sit down to the ground. That's a different sound quality. Try to just experiment it. Here on measure 20, 21, da 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 da, you stopped every eight note, and da 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 da, you stopped on every eight note. So make sure to keep the flow. Do not stop between the groups. The correct way is. Uh, 
We're just gonna keep going. Generally, it's a very nice performance, nice flow. Just be careful the left hand notes details. Do not stuck on any notes. Or let it go. Go into the air. It will sound more lively. I think Anna's level is uh, early advanced. Uh, she has a lot of potential to develop her playing skill. She can definitely increase the tempo of the scale and arpeggio. She played Beethoven very well. My suggestion is just read the music notation more carefully, and you need understand the composer's idea better about the composition. I'm sure she will play other Beethoven sonata in the future with more musical notations. So just follow what the music sheet tells you to do. Her Chopin's prelude played beautifully with the flow. She can try to play other Chopin's preludes, start from uh, easier ones like uh, number four, number seven, and number 15, and try to feel Chopin's style more about the freeze line, the color change, and other things. Thank you, Anna, to share your piano playing with us. And let me review your performance. I hope other audience can get some help after watching this video as well. See you next time.